ESPN welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. Things were really weird in summer camps this year. Yeah, we're going to do something a little different. We decided to do away with all that working out and practicing junk and just ask for volunteers. Now raise your hands if you want to be on defense. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Go. You just raise your hands on offense. No. Okay, you can play, but... Usually, it's the players who worry about the impression. Hey, Mark. You get this, uh, this wire on me here today. So whenever you get a chance, you just say, guy, Coach, you are one of the greatest coaches I've ever seen. And I've never seen a guy work harder than you. Com on? Command more discipline, more respect from your players. <laughs> one five job, Pete. Dang, you can But the strangest sight of all may have been Kevin Green the Panther uniform again. It's the Boys of Summer, this week on NFL Films Presents. Presents is brought to you by Edge Pro Gel, the official shave gel of the NFL. Edge Pro Gel. Lose the phone, save your skin. When we drafted Tim Duncan, I invited him to my home every for the season. He was not so much. That doesn't count, you were out. The roses are out to me, not the daisies. Today. You brought this to my home. I'm proud of. I calmly explained how Edge Pro Sex better than foam with eight rich lubricants. Save a sure how to make a guy feel comfortable. More we'll eliminate him? Edge Pro Gel. Save your skin. The roses Bro. him are out of bounds. Go with the gnome. The gnome's gonna be out of bounds. it. <laughs> You can choose which teams you see every Sunday with DirecTV and NFL Sunday tickets. There's up to 13 regular season games a week. Front check on Farm. Hey, Brett. To stock up on all your favorites, NFL Sunday ticket. It's not on cable. See it on DirecTV. So what are you looking at? Attention shoppers. Now get $200 worth of programming when you get DirecTV. I come in, I just want to play. Kids grow up, knee high as grasshoppers, dreaming about playing a game like today. Freezing, was in country of Lambeau Field. Where else would you want to be? I'm glad I'm here. Thank you. Kevin Green is a nice guy. Time for everyone. TV Steeler, how you doing, man? You all right? Yeah, good. You looking ready to play? He watches his language. I try not to cuss so much. So you don't have to beep it out all the time. He takes his medicine like a good boy. He's considerate of others. This towel's dirty. Don't let no one touch that towel. Oh, yeah. He thinks that after 14 years of banging helmets, he never to wear one. You see, he's crazy about beating the man in front of him on every single play. It's a one-on-one -on -one matchup. You and the guy in front of you. One of two things are going to happen. You're going to fire off the ball, and you're going to plant his butt in the turf. 
or he's coming off the ball and jacking you up and kicking your butt. You take care of your own job. You kick the guy's butt. You do your butt kicking job. And I refuse to let someone be more physical than me. I'm going to stick my face as hard as I can into that person. And hit people as hard as I humanly can. No linebacker in history has more sacks than Kevin. He's played for four different teams, and he's always been a good soldier. When you were growing up, most, most kids have a, you know, a military family. Right. My dad was always the consummate military professional. He retired 31 years in the Army. We lived on military bases, and my dad was the coach, and he always used my brother and I as a training aid. Keith would always hand me my butt. My older brother, he's, he's about 5'10", about 5 pounds now. <laughs> but he was always more physical. And I learned, actually, being physical back in the old uh, military dependent days, living in Mannheim, Germany, and, and all these places. Kevin was the best little quarterback on the base, but he preferred to run over, so he quickly moved him to full. Back in the school of Bennett City, Illinois, he was a hard as granite tight end, linebacker, and special team. Football was important. But people who fought in Vietnam and the brother in Desert Storm, Green never lost sight of what mattered most. God, honor, and family. Winning runs in, in the Green family. We're all Eagle Scouts. My brother's an Eagle Scout. My dad's an Eagle Scout. I'm an Eagle Scout. My father-in-law's an Eagle Scout. Little things, being disciplined, being on, you know, never being late. Just when you say something... How can you say that when you showed up at this interview an hour late? Yeah, you I know. know. I'm going to tell your father, we'll get your brother here to kick your ass. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but that, they'd come in on a helicopter, some artillery would be coming in. We have to take shelter somewhere. I dream it like that. Crosshairs on target. I felt like I was in my tank. His first tour of duty was with the Rams. And it wasn't long before he rose through the ranks to become the spearhead of John Robinson's new defense. He goes, Kevin, see this x ray? This is you. And all you've got to do is rush up the field and get the guy with the football, and he's going to be the quarterback. And if you do that, you'll have, you'll have fortune, you'll have everything well, you, you ever want. You... Oh, man! <laughs> it was known as the Eagle defense. And in three years, the Eagle Scout logged 46 sacks and many good deeds. He just absolutely leveled me. The good thing about him is he asked me if I was all right after he did it. I said, yeah, I am. I appreciate the five. What's up, dude? Hey, you're, you're a good athlete, man. A lot of guys wouldn't do that. They'd step on your face mask when they're getting up. Give me a wink when you're coming, would you? <laughs> Soon after, the Rams scrapped that defense. Green became a casualty and ultimately an NFL nomad. They changed systems on me. Man, I'm tapped. They didn't really come after me when I became a free agent after my eighth year. I'm like a battery lost in charge. It was time for me to go. Wanted to come to a program that wanted to win. He loved her. But after another 35 and a half sacks, the Steelers thought he'd grown old. Torn up, he left another piece of himself behind and marched on. I had such a great time there. I played for three years. I was a hard gun. And then they let me go. They didn't make an effort to sign me back. You know, Pittsburgh, uh, the age thing and everything. Oh, you guys cut that out, man. It's private time here. In Carolina, Green led the NFL in sacks and the Young Panthers to the championship game. But it would be his one and only season there following a bitter contract dispute. It wasn't even fair. And I said, no, I can't do that. You don't insult me. I've had too good of a career a while like this. I said, please let me go so I can continue my career with somebody else. Come on, Kevin Green. As a Ram, he hated the 49ers. Now, he was one. He came for the ring, but despite ten and a half sacks, he seemed out of place and sometimes in the way. Hey, guys, watch Kevin Green over there, huh? Steve, be careful if you throw any comeback over there. He's sitting there. See him? What the hell is he doing? How do you justify in your mind the, 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 the shift, the loyalty that has to go through each time you change a team? It's unfortunate. 
I'm, I don't know, bad karma. I don't know what the deal is. But I've just tried to be be so committed everywhere I've been. If you ain't selling your ass out, take your ass on in. I was the guy coming in early in the morning, working out late at night. But get after the ball. I was the guy at the very end of the day watching extra film. Tattoo somebody. That guy. I mean, I come in and I just want to play. People out there can play. But they say, hey, this guy, he just loves to play. Go in right now, three, and come right back out. Totally demoralize him, man. And he's a nutcake. Got that crazy look. And he's a fruit loop. Rock and roll. And he freaks out. And he loves to play. Put the jack on, baby. Let's go to war. If that affects people around me to get people just freaking frothing and foaming and, and motivating, let's, let's go. I mean, Sam, I'm ready. Let's play. Let's go. Ready. Hulk Hogan. Well, first of all, yeah. like, is it real or is it fake? I consider it real. I come as hard and physical and fast <laughs> as I can. <laughs> it's entertainment at the best. Owner Jerry Richardson had convinced him to return to Carolina. We talked for an hour, and then he said, Kevin, do you want to be a Carolina Panther again? And I said, absolutely. Now you're back with the Panthers. Can you generate that same hatred for the 49ers? Oh, no question. They know Kevin Green is coming to play when they play the 49ers. They know that. They know. From Army base to Army base, from team to team, Kevin Green has worn many different uniforms. But he has always fought for the same reason. I hope the public sees that, that my heart is on my shoulder, and I play with my heart. And I don't play this game for any other thing than just sheer love and passion. That's it. That's why I play. The Sounds of Summer, next on NFL Films Presents. Basil's Fine Home Furnishing, featuring the largest selection of solid oak, cherry, and maplewood furniture at guaranteed lowest prices. Choose from a wide variety of quality-built dining and dinette sets, china cabinets and hutches, or bring home a beautiful new bedroom set. Basil's Furniture has styles and designs to fit everyone's needs. Basil's Furniture, quality that lasts a lifetime. Come see our 30,000-square-foot showroom in Chicago Heights, open seven days a week. We deliver everywhere. You know, I don't appreciate being called an idiot. Just because you fear technology, that's not my fault. I've been called a lot of things at this table, but an idiot will not be one of them. ESPN Sunday Night Football. The season begins September 6th. I'll be afraid to wear that helmet cam. The radio waves might mess up my mind. summer on record. For each of the NFL's 30 teams, the goal of Summer Camp 98 was to forge toughness in unity that would sustain them on the most demanding journey in all of sport. It ain't like it used to be, baby. Uh-uh. Ain't like it used to be. I had a... It used to be a hog. Now I, just... I, had a, I got a rat nibbling on me all the time, just taking a little bit of fat here and there. I got a rat nibbling on me all the time. Jog it over, jog it over. Hump day, man. I'm not going to put up with anything other than great effort and concentration out here. I should have used the bathroom before I came out here. Whew. You panicked. You panicked. You went like that. Right now. I was within 10 yards of you, and you went, oh, here he comes. Looking pretty happy today, 59. What's going on with that? Huh? You just love that special teams practice today, right? Oh, yeah. It's a happy day. It's a happy day. It's just like a Y out here, man. 
green grass, green trees, heat, mountains, huh? Where else would you? I mean, this is this is just like home for you. I told Doug, I said, boy, I got me a good mile run in today. He said, how far was it? <laughs> Gotta love it, guys. Gotta love it. What a way to make a living. Get to go nine on seven all through training camp. Hey, fellas, oh! Let's welcome, hey, we got a new player here. We want to welcome Nikki Sadwater to the ball club. Nikki. <laughs> Knock him on his butt. <laughs> got to go where his head goes. Right. It's all in the game. Take that arm and slam him down on his, on his forearm. He'll get off of you. This ain't, this ain't a popularity contest. Second down and 10 is when you guys up front got to be humming. You got to be going. You got to be penetrating. You got to be disrupting things. Leverage, man. That, that leverage, he was underneath him. He was underneath him. He gave him a little shot. Shock troops. You go over there, you see a guard handing them to you, clang it. Strike a blow and go to the ball. Strike. Strike. Knock him over there. It's like a bull in a china closet with that move. Man, take up the slack a little bit. Hell, don't sit there and be a pin cushion. Take up the slack. Step up into him. You don't have to be a blocking dummy. Even when you're doing this, guys, you're thinking about first step, proper hat placement, using the hands properly. You think about technique mentally when you're going through this. Come on, come on. All right, down here, you got to stack that gas down. You got to stack that guy up. You got to stack that. Oh, you take that tail and knock his ass in the backfield. Come on, that's too much. Hey, come on, offensive line. Let's go. You're not playing against a fearsome foursome. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Ah, if it's not perfect, throw to his ass out. Make him get it right where you want it. Damn it, why'd I do that? Why are we throwing the fade for touchdowns? What the hell are we doing? Get back in it, get back in it. There you go, good head whip look right there. You're not head whipping and looking, you're head whipping and running there. You're head whipping, you come out knowing that you got to go. Speed now, gotta go, gotta go. Gotta go, Mike, gotta go, Mike. Some speed, huh? Run, gotta run. Oh, I hate that. I hate it. How you feeling? A little weak? You look like Thank you. <laughs> Back up, I'm just teasing you. Near right stack, zap, scat right 370, eight shoot, pump. Gun, dice right trace, naked 34, oh one, oh one. Walk left world, strong 70, X smash. Let's go one on, ready? Here's a play for you, Charlie. H belly. <laughs> And they set the all-time mental error record here. What the hell was that? How many days are we in camp and we can't get the center quarterback exchange? Steve, same play. Oh, Come on, Fabus. Come on. I don't wait a hey, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Uh, uh, stay up, damn it. I'm gonna end this drill and you guys are gonna watch practice. Now stay up, everybody. I'm talking to defense and offense. I don't want to say it again. Let the guy run. You want to go to the arena league. Play over there. They, hey, right. hey, right. hey, right. they play the ball off the screen over there. Hey, Bernard. Bernard. You got no place. Shut, shut up and stay out of drill. You hear it? You don't like it, we'll send you home. I ain't kidding about it either. Just knock it off. Elvis, you can't go with that nice high gate and run slant and hitch. You gotta come off. Your asses never got together. I don't give a if your nose is on the ground. If your asses aren't together, we can't get anybody off the line of scrimmage. Lower. lower. Get their asses together and knock them off the ball. See that? They're like this. Like a flight of geese. Come on, come on, wake up. Let's go. All 21, let's go. Wake up. Made me lose my gum.
I want to know when do we compete. That's all I care about. Of the 2,400 players who started Summer Camp 98, only 1,350 survived to make a run at this year's Super Bowl. Woo! Smoking. <laughs> Y'all be good, though, big news, on, man. Get up front, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get going, get off, get off, get off, get after the quarterback. Ah, right, good catch. Way to make the quarterback look good. You give him a zig and a zag, Joe. They didn't know what was going on, I'm telling you. They were baffled. Just come out and play like it's a game of tag. Give him a little move, scoot around him, and go. Busting it down. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do our stuff. I told you, if we do our stuff, they can't stop us. Right, Marco? Hey, don't come out and jump off sides now. You show some poise and step up powerfully. Step up with power. Everybody up, let's go. Hey, nice practice, nice practice. These guys are working their ass off. That's great tempo. It's great competition and we like it, we need it. Back to the drawing board, boys, let's go. You got the routine? Meetings at two o'clock? Good job this morning. Good job this morning. Summer Camp 98, the first step in sports' most grueling championship chase. Lombardi. You won't believe your ears when we return. Kobe Bryant in NBA courtside for WCW versus NWO or Diddy Kong Racing for new additions to the Players' Choice Library for just $39.95. Don't miss it. On September 5th, get ready for the film event of the year, the NFL film Super Bowl Marathon. ESPN Classic proudly presents 15 hours of the film that keep your butt planted on the couch. Starring Broadway Joe, The Snake, Hollywood Henderson, and the return of the Fun Bunch. All battling to possess the one trophy everyone wants. The NFL film Super Bowl Marathon, September 5th, only on ESPN Classic. If you don't get ESPN Classic, call 1-800-CLASSIC today. You know how sometimes you watch TV and the sound doesn't match the picture? Big mistake on somebody's part. Well, we did it on purpose. Take a look and listen. 